you know, Bruno Fernando is back, Frank. The Rockets plus 23 and his 40 minutes on the court in the last three games. With Bruno, you think of his defense mostly, but KPJ appears to have offensive chemistry with him in the pick and roll, and for whatever reason, doesn't have it with Shangoon. What do you think of Bruno overall and him taking away some of Garuba minutes as well? Yeah, Bruno, he brings a different element to the team. Um, that vertical spacing um, that he brings on both sides of the ball. And I think uh, as far as his relation with KPJ, um, that is a, a read that Kevin Porter is comfortable making. But I definitely do see that they have a bit of a relationship with the way they play on the court that he doesn't really have with Alperen Shangun. On the uh, opposite side of that, Jalen Green seems to have a better relationship operating the pick and rolls with Alperen Shangun than he does with Bruno. Because when I, I, I've probably seen Jalen throw Bruno about maybe one lob or two in the entire season. So crazy enough, Jalen Green's the better pick and roll ball handler than Kevin Porter Jr. My issues with using that as a basis for starting Bruno over Shangun to cater to Kevin Porter Jr.'s uh, need for that vertical lob threat, it kind of like, okay, that's great, but he's not very good at it. So why are we prioritizing an action for an entire team that's based on something that we are probably the worst at doing in the NBA uh, as, as one of the high frequency team for pick and roll. So I think Bruno's great in spots. One thing that people will notice when he plays against these elite centers, he doesn't do very well. Nikola Jokic basically made him unplayable. And the same thing with Joel Embiid, because as good of an athlete as that Bruno is, a lot of those guys, you have to play them with your mind and it's more mental and being able to anticipate and some of the other nuances of basketball that at his young age, Shangun actually has compared to Bruno. So um, I think that he is good in spots and in different certain matchups, he'd be great. But just as a starter every night, I don't think he's that guy. You're listening to Houston Sports Talk.